Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. We're back with Gila at Dishonored. Um, it's been a while since I've been in here, but uh, I guess luckily I have played this game before, so I will be able to catch up quickly, I hope. Uh, last I recall, we took out our first official target and saved, it was Claudia's uncle or something like that? Uh, and now we are uh, off to kill the snobby rich guy's brother. I think it's twin brothers that we're off to kill uh, in the brothel or the local fun house or whatever we're gonna call it. So I think that I think that's where we're at. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Golden Cat Bathhouse. Loyalists say, believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt, aristocratic Pendleton brothers. These men are Lord Pendleton's despised older brothers, twins, and are loyal to the tyrannical cat butt in the way. Come on, cat butt. Scoot. Uh, Lord Regent, finally Emily, uh, find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lords Curtis and Morgan Pendleton. Yes, yes, that's where we're at. Damn it, cat butt. Hi, Demos. I, I saw your message briefly, and then Catbot got in the way. So here we are. Oh, man. See, see, here's the thing. Um, F5, F9. Okay, just checking. Here's the thing. We have these options. But I'm trying really hard not to stabify everyone. So... I can't do the easy option of ridding myself of a person and saving the day. But alas. I can eat those things. I can carry glass. What other options do I have on me? So I've got, I probably should keep the teleporty option in hand. Slowing time, visibility. <laughs> yeah. Two arms. Hmm. Stop you in the river. <laughs> All right. That. Okay. So, uh, let's, let's try that again. <sighs> I, I gotta get, I gotta get my sea legs again. Uh, you can go back here. You should be fine here. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so I can eat all of the foods even though I don't even need to. Uh, that's okay. That's the out. I could go take care of that guy so I can have an easier out. Yeah, let's do that. All right, new body pile starting. That sounds ominous. That sounds incredibly ominous. All right. Um, that seems safe-ish for now, so let's F5 that. Uh, I need to get into Madam's office. I should also check other things. I'm trying to remember what all the buttons are. I'm trying to get into... That's what I'm get, trying to get into. So my, um... Madam's office to find Emily's location. Also, I need to meet with Slackjaw at the distillery. However, I do believe that this option is not good. See, Tracy knows the joy of the pile. I don't remember what this optional task is for, but... Right, let's, let's see what we got going on here. Um... Madam, are you in your office? Uh, 
Aha. Hello, madam. Sorry. Ooh, I could use the madam's office for the pile because no one's going to come in here. Yeah. I'm going to move the pile. Sometimes it's important to move your pile. Dog pile on the madam. Never mind the pile of swords. I can't do anything about that. Yeah. Don't need that. Don't need those things. Uh, I will read the, the note in a moment. That's mildly tawdry. Only mildly, though. Uh, hemlock essence. Empty bottle. Teacup. Okay. Is there nothing else in here? Just an empty bottle and a teacup? A useless little thing. Okay, so that's... Uh, helpful? I like that she's got a UR here marker for her own... Um, for her own office. Alright, so number eight is Madam's office. You are here. Uh, number five is second floor. Number three is silver room and ivory rooms. So that's all on this floor. Uh, then downstairs we got the steam room. Uh, six and seven smoking and gold rooms. Ten is third floor. Number one is main entrance. Number nine is the dormitory. Okay, uh, I do need to attempt to kill. Sorry, I need to attempt to take these guys out without killing them. I know we're running low on beds, but I must have room for the child. She's more important than you can guess, and recently she almost got away using the VIP entrance. That's why I decided to keep the, the master key in my possession. This girl must be cared for, even if she's a brat, and we want her, we want her kept in a room to herself. Madam Prudence. So I need to find the dormitory, which was in the third floor, if I recall. So I need to go up a floor to find that. Alright. Making use of the F5. So dormitory is up. Uh, steam room. Gold room. Okay. So let's see what else information we've got. So Lord Morgan Pendleton is in the steam room downstairs, and... Curtis is in the gold room upstairs. Okay. So, let's start with... I don't know. Who should we start with? Actually, but while, while, while you guys discuss that amongst yourselves, uh, we got that over by the steam room. And we have that one directly above us. They ship them in from farming villages. Bastard daughters. And extra mouths that can't be fed. They thought they would be working in a factory. By the time they arrive, it's much too late. The plague swept through here. There are rooms they have yet to clean. Oh dear. The girls do not like this new Adam. She is not kind. Not at all like the old one. Curious noise, BRB!
Okay, curious noise is understood. All right. Um, so, any thoughts on where we should go first? We've got ruins to collect. We've got uh, the Pendleton brothers, one or two, and then we've got Emily. Clients tonight. The man is worried. She must not disappoint. What have you done to me? To me? Who is me in this case? They ship them in from the farm okay. villages. Bastard daughters. And extra mouths that can't be fed. Teleporty, eyeball, brain suck. Alright, I'll keep teleporting in the back pile. So this is where I was. That's where I came in. Let's see what's in here. It's nice having the master key. I don't have to worry about anything. Ah, there it is. Have a bone charm. Shiny things, delightful. Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, oh, money. Monies, monies, etc. I think that's it. I think that's it for this room. Except for the thing that I can't have because I have too many of them. That should be good. Actually, what's the quick button for having one of these? Options, controls. Mana elixir is T. Because I have a little bit of mana short. Might as well. At this point, might as well. All right, so that's done. So that's upstairs. Let's quick save and then start going upstairs. This looks rather gross. I feel like I should take care of her so that she's not going to scream and cause fuss. So let's take care of her. Because she's probably going to scream and cause a fuss. First off, Someone's over there. hi. Someone help. Yup. She was going to scream and cause a fuss. <coughs> so, lady. Nap. These ladies can have their own pile. Because, quite frankly, they should not have to lay with the guards. Missing Women, Golden Cat. Excerpt from a crime story revolving around the Golden Cat. Um, sure, we'll read this. Mr. Arrowhoff, I assure you my family has the means to pay you and your associates should you locate my sister. You've got her name and description and everything else we know about her initial weeks in Dunwall before Patrice stopped writing to me. However, there's one other detail. So hard to believe that I was reluctant to mention it. There is an establishment within Dunwall called the Golden Cat. A bathhouse, I believe, though some say it's a brothel. I find it implausible that Patrice would ever be connected with such a place, but I would be remiss I would be remiss if I did not pass along the information. Just before her letters stopped coming, a cousin of an old friend said she saw Patrice performing there, singing and playing the harp. It could be nothing, but please investigate. 
Lastly, if your search of the city has not borne fruit by the month of wind, I will be making the trip from Morley myself in order to retain other another agent. Sincerely, Madison Canebright. Yes, the girls deserve their own pile. Because quite frankly, they are not treated well enough here as it is. She has a lovely tattoo, though. It's a nice kind of almost tribal style rose looking thing. It's very nice. Alright. Girl pile has begun. This is where Emily is, so I'm going to check in this room. It's a nice fountain. Hello? 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 Oh. Okay, no one's here. Come for your shiny thing. saw something else over here. It's just the hookah. Oh well. Alright. I'm going to check out Emily, although I do believe if I get her now, I think I recall that we can't do anything with her until I take care of the other dudes anyway. So there she is. I'm going to open the door, see what happens, and then if, if it's not relevant, we'll just quick load and come back here later. Oh, hi! Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? Because I'm a not very nice fellow. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! Aw, we found her. You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? Uh-huh. They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison. Dead, nope. like, like mother. Totally still have head. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Nope. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Ah. Right. We are reloading, because I am not going to do a freaking escort quest while I need to try to sneak through this place. So I will take care of Emily later. Whee! Okay, so that's the other room. That's that room. Okay. Alright, I will take care of this area then, because this is the uh, second floor where the golden place is. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the golden cat. Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Huh? Really, guys? Someone help me out! Ow. Ow. I didn't realize that they were going to immediately come my direction after I stopped their conversation. So, that means that they are going to come out, which means they might try to find the pile. And I need to GTFO pretty much as soon as they start their conversation. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Ha. Huh. Okay. Now they're going to come out. And I need to do something with them. other ways around out there as well. Be 
piece of trash, if you ask me. Hey, that's not nice. Pile has shrunk ever so slightly. There were two guards in here before. Alright, where's the other guy? Stay right where you're at. You'll be fine. Hi, other guy. Don't worry about it. You guys stay asleep. You'll be fine. This guy has a date with the pile. Intend to throw on that firmly, but oh well. It's fine. I know, I love the snoring. I shall eat all of your foods. I shall steal your shiny thing. Probably should actually check the shiny things to see. What else I can use? So I've got seven of eight equipped. So what else do we got? Regenerate mana slightly faster. Drinking from fountain's health. Swing sword faster. Potion full mana. Damaging gives adrenaline. Heal faster. Uh, drop stab gives health. Dodging bolts. Stabbing better. Exploding better. Uh... See, shooting whiskey barrels was nothing, or whiskey bottles was nothing I ever thought to consider, but... Alright, I don't actually need any of these, except for maybe I will take uh, the drinking potion giving full mana, because why not, I guess? Or regenerate mana faster. Actually, I'll do regenerate mana faster, because that means I might be able to teleport slightly faster. That'll do... Uh, then we also have powers to get. How many power thingies do I have? Uh, where's the thingy that says how many I've got? Oh, yes. I have I have four runes. I can do things. So, Wind Blast, Shadow Kill, Agility, Vitality. I might do Agility. Movement speed increase. Oh no, so um, level 1 is jump height increased and falling damage reduced. Not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> These two are both maxed out, which is great. Bend time requires more. Eh, I'll hold off on that for now. Smoking room, gold room, silver room, ivory room, steam room, all that direction. I recall that direction being a pain in the ass. So we'll go over there in a sec. Wish I could take care of these guys, but they're not really going anywhere, so... I guess it's fine. Uh, I can, like, go these directions to climb around and do stuff. I might actually end up doing that. Like going outside the walls and sneaking around the outside. Because. Vaguely remember in here being kind of a pain. Because of that. Because there's people doing stuff. There's two ladies dancing over there, which means they're both looking opposite directions. Makes it harder to sneak past them. Uh, we got guards, we got other wandering peoples. 
Alright, we'll skip that for now. I'm gonna go in here and steal whatever this shiny thing is. That's that room. A book. And that's it. Uh, excerpt from a theater play. I don't really need to read that at the moment. Oh, right. That way. Oh, we can't go upstairs. Uh, we'll go downstairs. Lovely paintings. Portraits. Whatever. See anyone? Golden Cat Guest Ledger. Lord Morgan Pendleton with Lulia in the steam room downstairs. Mr. Bunting with Betty in the silver room, second floor. And Lord Curtis Pendleton with uh, Violetta in the gold room, third floor. I don't know what Mr. Bunting is, but I do believe I can do something fun with him. Weeper, Identification, and Handling. Now this is important. Excerpt from notes by Dr. Galvani on proper procedure for handling those infected with plague. Once a victim bleeds from the eyes, you cannot help them. Death is inevitable, given our current understanding of the plague. However, however, by following protocol, we can limit its spread. All personnel handling weepers, or those infected, or those in the final stages, must consume liberal amounts of one of the available protective potions. Any of the variants will serve this purpose. Sokolov's Elixir or Piero's Remedy, for instance. A dose per day for the enlisted men, a dose twice daily for officers. In other words, yeah. Um, distance must be maintained, either through the use of pole arms or incendiary ranged weapons in order to avoid parasitic stinging insects that colonize an infected host. After use, strict washing procedures must be followed with regards to washing the medical kennels, transport paddocks, and the current uh, carriages used to transport the infected to one of the uh, deportation zones, such as the flooded district. So, burn them at range. That's all there is to it, basically. Alright, I'm gonna duck under here for a second for a little bit of a uh, quick save. So, what rooms do we have? We have personnel only. All right, I am personnel. I'm at least a person. Nothing else over here, and this is the front door, actually. Which, if I recall, there's no one out here. Oh. Um. I think I might have done that to him. <laughs> Welcome uh. to the pile, sir. I think I recall pissing him off at some point, and it didn't seem to matter, so I left it. Pile with you. You're all fine. A little bit of squishy noises, but you're all fine. Alright, so that down there is probably the VIP room. So we'll continue this away. Let's see what I can find sneaking through here. Dunstan, the Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on, you're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up. All right. Oh, right. Her. 
Sorry to do this to you, lady, but that, um, um, what's the what? matter with you? I can't take care of her. meant to right click instead of left click kind of accidentally slit her throat Dunstan, the pendletons are here you're supposed to be on duty come on you're <laughs> <laughs> definitely accidentally did that all right she can join the sleepy ladies upstairs I guess there's only one sleepy lady upstairs, now that I think about it. Let's move a little bit faster. Violent toss. Jeez, be nice to the lady. Corvo does not really have much experience with the ladies. I know, we just fucking... The hurls her across. All right, and you, sir, are just in a state, so we'll leave you be. Even darken that so no one's looking at you. You'll be fine. dude there and I think he just goes back and forth left and right stopping where he's at and there's another dude right there who I don't think goes anywhere so I should take care of that guy come on guy come back I hear him coming. There he is. <laughs> All right. Into the madam pile. And I think those um those dancing girls there are a little bit too they're either drunk or a little bit too into each other to notice me doing things, because I've gone by them now twice with bodies that they haven't seemed to care about, so... I am going to assume that I would have to try pretty hard. Now, everyone's disappearing after I throw them in a pile. That's not very fun. Here, I'll set you off to the side. I mean, it's magic, but it's not a very fun pile. Now, I'm going to test this theory with the ladies, so I'm going to quick save here and see how much they actually notice. Yeah, they don't, they don't notice the thing. They, they are oblivious to my presence. Have fun, girls. Steam room down. More apples to eat. Now there's a lady upstairs, I think, wandering. There's a dude there. I don't know. Some kind of mask, he said. 
He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word, but he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. Don't he didn't fight about. plague mad. He had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know Bullshit. what I think? He's one of Dowd's. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? You're shaking like a little girl. Go jump off Caldwin's bridge. <laughs> Go jump off a bridge. Alright. I think... I think they might be sick. I am the knight. And Batman. Alright, so I'm gonna come back here. So I can do some experimentation. Oh, hi! Shoot me. Into the drink with me. <laughs> I am a shadow. A various, a very obvious shadow. Alright, so that's a thing. Oh, hey. That's convenient, even though I probably shouldn't see him walking through the floor. Alright, is there anything left in here? No. Alright, so this is the silver room. And I, that was... That was the other guy, right? <laughs> Hi. I like your beard. It's nice. Should probably take out that that this guy. Er um that guy. Probably should take him out, but oh well. Magical pile free pile. It is a pile that has no pile. It, it is a self cleaning pile. I'm not sure I appreciate that. I'd much rather have like evidence of my hard work. Dude, there. Turning. Okay. Uh, there's a button for this, actually. Uh, oh, hi. Two guys there. So those guys are just going to face out there the whole time. I think that's fine. He circles the whole time, and he paces back and forth. So with his circle, if I can get in his path on that side, I can, I can sneak up behind him after he passes, like right here, and not worry about that guy. Yeah, okay. Play the harp. Yeah, well, we'll do that later. Uh, so where can I hide? Huh? 
I'm gonna play the harp. You can't get me. Him. Okay. So I know their routine. I just don't know where I can hide that. Actually, I know where I can hide. I, I saw a spot. Oh. Uh. That's new. Hey, sir. I don't know what you're doing here, but I'll take it. Could you could you stop snoring in my ear? It's a little bit weird. So, that guy over there is still taken out, right? Yeah, that guy's still taken out. That's fine. That's someone smoking up just directly above me. Uh, okay. So the question then becomes, how do I take them out without killing them? Let's take a peek at the ivory room. Seems fine. Hi. I guess that's one way to take out a guard, is to come at him from this angle. Hmm. Okay. That's a thing. Well, the silver room, I do believe, is occupied. Hence the red. Quick save me before this, because I vaguely remember this is interesting. Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonham? Not just mm. like last time, understand? Slowly. And only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be... Retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. Where's the shock button? 
There's the shock button. Okay. Stay focused, please. I can tell you love your work. Careful. I have a condition. I deserve it. Oh, oh, oh that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them. Robbed them of thousands. Stick to the script, please. Well, I'm waiting for him to tell me to shock him. But he doesn't oh, tell me. You're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Can't talk to him anymore. Okay. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. I said retribution. Now let me out. What the? Who is this? What do you want? I'm only an art dealer. I have a few valuable paintings at home. You can have them. Take this key. It opens my apartment on Clavering Boulevard. My heart won't take this. Ask me anything. I screwed the Pendletons, yes. And, and I've been to the Brimsleys. They worship the outsider. I've seen it. I did it too. He's still moving, though. Aw, broke it. I honestly don't know if that counts as killing him. Um, so I'm not sure I want to save that or not. So I kind of want to redo that and stop before the final fry so I can get his key and his information. But not the final blow to like kill him or whatever. Um, just because I'm attempting to not kill anyone. I mean, Finally, he is still breathing. Like yes. this for twenty. Oh, Shut your face, sir. Oh, oh, that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Yeah, he's still breathing, but oh, I don't trust the game not to count this. that. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Retribution! Retribution! Oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Sure. Ah, We're almost done. We're done, I said. Retribution! Now ah, what the? Who is this? Oops. What do you want? I'm only an art dealer. I want your themes. I have a few valuable paintings at home. You can have them. Take this key. It opens my apartment on Clavering Boulevard. Please, my heart won't take this. Ask me anything. I screwed the Pendletons, yes. And, and I've been to the Brimsleys. They worship the outsider. I've seen it. I did it too. All right, I think that's enough out of him. Because I think that's the last little drop right there. Okay. We're done... ...tormenting the old creepy man. Alright, uh, I'm gonna head... ...down to the steam room, I think, and see if I can figure out how to deal with them. Hey girls, keep having fun.
Lincoln will be in there all night. More coin for us. Though we'd make even more if they didn't blow it on prostitutes. My cousin's a foreman at their mine. He says the slaves have dug half a mile down, so deep they're dying by the dozen from collapse or fumes. With the silver's almost gone. What are they going to do? Looks like they're gonna gamble and drink every night till it's gone, then jump in the river. I don't think I can safely bring this out because the girls, I think they might actually notice something. So... I'll just pile them right there. <laughs> Damn, I can't count on him. state that the conservative position gets an extra few votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Before. Whatever happened to old Estermont? The rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. Oh dear. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. Oh jeez. That sounds delightful. Fine. I know, barricaded him no less. Like, straight up just locked him in the room with the rats to die. Hi, Raddies. Love you. The pressure valve has stopped working properly. This is the second time. You will not get a third chance, do you understand? Repair it promptly or you're out, because I won't risk another accident. Our clients are among the most important men in the city. So, I know that this is one way to kill the Pendleton. Literally just steam him alive in the room. Um, but I don't remember the non-lethal way of killing him. And I kind of need that. Oh my. Um, oh, there's fish. Right. Because I can take a fish and go into that tunnel and get in that way. Uh, let's take a look at the other methods first. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Oh, there's a door. Um, I think I can just go in the door and see what I see. Ah, hi. Your butt's hanging out, lady. So, is there a non-lethal way to kill him? There's gotta be. do that and be done with them. Um, I'm going to try taking the fish in though and see what I can come up with in there. Uh, fish is this button. Oh, yes. I am now fish. Let's 
See, this is where I'm not sure. I know Someone Who is that? Clear the cards. Someone kill this man. So the fish is a way in, but that's if you want to go kind of the direct attack route. Um, the fish can also go that way, which is weird because I don't think there's anything that way. Hmm. I wonder if that's just a way to get past the guards. Let's peek around the corner, take a fish, go that way, and then you can get around the guards that way. Who knows? Alright, so it looks kind of like steam is the only option for this. Which seems odd to me. Objective failed, optional Slackjaw. Okay, so that means Slackjaw may have been a way to deal with him safely. Hmm, curious. Oh well, too late now. Let's go see what he had on his corpse. I doubt it's anything important. Sorry. Hey, she has the same tattoo. Must be a gang thing. That's good. So the question is, do I attempt to go back out and all the way over to Slackjaw and see if there's another method? Because I that would have counted as me completely failing to not kill people. But I think I technically already have a fail to not kill people, so... I don't know. What do you think? Should I attempt to continue the non-killy path? Or should we just keep that as it is? Keep no killy? Okay. Huh? Alright, so, Nemo says we keep no killy, which means I do not steam them alive. You guys get a reprieve for now. That means I need to escape and attempt to find um, Slackjaw. So it's a long backtrack to do that. I wonder if I should finish trying to take out some of the guards in here. Because it looks like these guys come out as soon as I kill Pendleton. Alright, let's see if we can get the guards up here done. Just to have a safer path later. guy who was up there before is gone. The one that was circling around there. He was the one that came down the stairs this save. Okay. This guy is going to pace back and forth relentlessly, I think. No peeking. That's my job. Alright, 
to the self-cleaning pile with you, sir. Oi! It's even more self-cleaning. Now the other two are gone. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Alright, uh, let's go out then. Think we're safe? Dude, I didn't get. I don't have slack jaw as a thing here. Oh, hey, there's a dude up there. Um, I don't have Slackjaw as a marker here, so I think I have to escape that way. That might be worth checking out. Really? No one ever looks up. No one ever looks up. Why'd you look up? Really? Okay. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Really, guy? dumpster to put you in because you deserve it. No dumpsters? Here, rats. You can have it. Have fun. Alright, we're going to clavering. Slackjaw. That's Golden Cat, so why can't I get the Slackjaw marker? Ah, okay, that way. Um. Those are weepers. Oh yeah! Dead assassins! Uh, sorry. Unconscious assassins. It's amazing that they're still unconscious, actually. You! What you got for me? Come on up. The more people die, the cheaper it gets. Sleep darts is always good. Hi. That him? Yeah, he's the one. What's up, guys? Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk. 
at the distillery. Okay. I I shall I, I shall I shall join. Can I have this hat? Can I have the hat? Does that say explosive bottle? It does say explosive bottle. Hey. Okay. Psh. So I should be able to walk in here no problem. Much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. Oh yeah, that's my work. It's what they call I ready, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. Sorry. I don't think that's what that word really. means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other way. Uh oh, and then there's their weeper collection. Oh, really? They put a bone charm in there? Really, guys? Hey, Black Jaw be waiting for you. Steal your food. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water down. Oh, that's just to make the swallowing go smooth. Uh -huh. I ain't taking no chances on getting the plague. Drink till you drop. That's my motto. Good guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hang on. I want to do a thing. No, that's not the right button. Got anything to smoke or eat? Huh. This is more testing than anything else. <laughs> oh, that fucking works. Love it. Ow. Alright. That, that was just testing. <laughs> you can literally just shoot the explosive bottles off their, off their belt. It's like uh... a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Mm hmm Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. Oh. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Sorry. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. Sure. I okay. sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... <laughs> well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. But I I've already been there. Okay. I'm gonna steal all your things right in front of you, sir. Hope that's okay. You don't mind, right? 
Yeah, you don't mind. <coughs> and then down there... Oh, hey, there's a key. I want it. I want it. The fuck are you looking at? Psh. Nothing. Hey, you in the ma <laughs> Somebody, get on me! I died. I just wanted his key. Guess I can't have his key. Anything to smoke or eat. Blow off, Chaffer. See, if I can take his key, then I can loose the, uh, I can loose the guys. You should get where you're going, little man. Hey, you in the mask. You look like a uh, uh, I want all of your shiny things. There's so much shiny things in there. Yeah, fine, oh, fine. Oh god! Oh god! So I'm gonna have to reload because I didn't realize that all of their all of their zombies have gotten out. They're all so Alright, so all their zombies are out, which means I need to uh not be visible. I'm gonna let him do his thing. I wonder if killing um, weepers counts. You got you guys have fun with that out there. I wonder if killing weepers counts for the no killy thing. Because at that point, I'm just killing people who are too far gone, and I'm helping to stop the spread of the plague, right? Right? That's how that works. having fun over there. You got them all. Someone wants to get hurt. Good man. Good for you. Hi. Don't mind me. Okay, so I need to go to Galvani's office. What a mess, huh? I do believe it's best if I go an alternate route. Hmm. 
guard, 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 guard. This city is built on the bones of the great ones. Okay. Um. Wrong button. Okay. Ooh. Right. That thing. that anyway. Side jig or something like that. Oh, hi. You're coming this way. Good to know. <coughs> you sound healthy. Um, <laughs> uh, pile. 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 Uh, pile, sure. So I've already been in here. Um, however, there's a thingy I don't have yet. I think it's up, honestly. Yeah, it's directly above me. Okay. Huh? You didn't get to hear that. Okay, let's go this way. There's a dude in there somewhere. To the pile with you, sir. <clears throat> Actually, two's company, three is a pile, so I need to get him a third. Alright, so I am 
going to find Slackjaw's informant. Got it. Here they look. Um, excerpt from a travel chronicle. Travel to Pandisia. Pandisia is a fascinating place, so I'll read about this. Um, the men I have set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ship spawned by a Sarkonan archi archipelago. Or they were, should I say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs, welcoming those who would visit the four continent, the far continent, as it's called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school, or would that be a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the huns across the deck, pricking any that touched with toxic quills. Two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. The quiet Tivian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean, and the distance to Pendicia is greater than most would imagine. Uh, more died climbing the cliffs, and now, but with a handful, I stand looking across the greatest, greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but acted with great apoplectic outrage when handled. So it falls to me to lead them. Yeah, Pandicia is like their far away foreign lands where all of their like weird magics and stuff come from, so. And then there's that thing. Unreadable, okay. Double checking to make sure that this is still cleared out. Galvani's journal. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day that I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I'll be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tiffy Red. Perhaps you shall, sir. Alright, so this is still all cleared out. Good, good. So up is where the dude is. Probably should check down quick just to see. Seven strictures. Okay. Uh, disease practices. Stay away from infected, basically. I'm full on bullets. I'm full on arrows. Well, I mean, again, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Arrows in the wanted slack job poster. Nice touch. Keys. Lovely. Um, customs and food of Morley. I don't know if I care about Morley at all. I shall have your grapes and pear, though. Ooh, and apple. Full rounded fruity diet. And a health elixir, that's fine. More keys. Lab key, pantry key. Feeding log. Uh, fourth day, assorted human remains. Strong appetite. Tenth day, one bag of Tivian pears. Rats, uninterested. Uh, one tin of potted meat, eaten. 
Human torso, no trouble finding corpse parts. No feeding, aggression increased. Incident of cannibalism. Uh, incident with previous maid servant. Um, will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. So, um, he is testing the rats. That's an arm. That's straight up an arm. On a tray. For the rats. Rats, are you... Rats, are you in here? Should I be concerned that the rats aren't in here? remarkable in here, I don't believe. And in here, we mostly have displays. I don't think there's anything overly remarkable in here. This is just a different door to get in. Okay, well, now we can go back up since we've cleared the first floor. Uh, I, I'm still vaguely remembering that we've been in here before. So it's keeping the fact that we clear most of that out. Time to go up though. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Fair enough. <coughs> They're not coming out. Are they staying in? They are staying in. Great. Nope, nope, he's coming out. Good, good. This way. Where are you going, sir? thing. Uh, sewer capacity, lots of lots of rats is what it's basically going to boil down to. Uh, so these rats here, if I recall correctly, um, since my first run through of this game was all murder-tastic, um, these rats would be a full-on swarm ready to eat someone. Uh, if I had gotten through this game to this point in full murder mode. Um, and these would be the rats that would have been locked downstairs that have escaped. So the fact that there's only a few of them means that I'm doing a lot better this time around of not killing people. Clue, you say? Ah, I need to find a thing to read it. Okay. Um, do I have a thing to read it around here? thought I did. That behavior, I know we already read that one. I think there's a thing to read around here.
There's a shiny thing over here. Is it a book that I didn't read? Uh, no, that's okay. There's a lot of lore in this game. There's a lot of world building, which I do appreciate. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of it tends to be a little bit dry because it's about um, the various trade aspects in neighboring lands and stuff like that. Bull rat fetus. Yep, that's a bull rat fetus, all right. I thought that there was a thingy to play audio records around here, but I'm not seeing it. I thought it was like right there on his desk. Oh well. I have everything I need. I think I have all the things. Can't get into the, I mean, I can get into there. I can just break the glass, but whatever. Don't need to get into there. Otherwise, I think I'm done. So return the audio to Slackjaw, and Slackjaw will listen to it. So we'll we'll exito from here. Still sleeping? Yeah, you're still sleeping. Wrong button. I would like to fill up on things, please. Hi boys. Sorry I killed most of your gang. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? Shush up your mouth. You know I can't work out the right number of coin. It's embarrassing. Poor guy. <laughs> Going the way that I'm used to slack jobbing. Fine, fine. Hi. Here's Crowley's last words. What's this? Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Sure. What's that? Ah! No! No! Ah! 
So I mean, that's not funny at all. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So, that did not help, unfortunately. <laughs> Bunting. This art dealer Bunting is a man of taste. If anyone left in Dunwall has something worth stealing, it's him. So whoever opens the safe gets double the normal cut. Bunting. Bunting is the dude that I just zapped nearly to death. Uh, looting in recent months. Okay. I shall eat all of your food. Okay. So... They have a lot of awesome shiny things down here in with these guys. Um, it's quite a bit of cash if I see it correctly. I don't even know what that thing is. Um, that's the thing I'm full on. That's cash. That's cash. That's the thing I'm full on. Something in there, I don't know what. I don't know what that thing is. The big tray looking thing. Otherwise, I guess it's not too bad. Ah, we'll leave that stuff be. I don't need it. You guys good in here? Yeah, you good. You good. So, I can definitely go loot Bunting's place, because I've got his stuff. Um, and now, I, apparently, I can get into this uh, hotel. Up anything good? <laughs> that was strange. Um, so, where was Bunting's place? Uh, let's see. Steam room, golden cat master key from Granny... So I've got notes that are written, but I don't have notes from um, the bunting dude. Mission clues, mission items. Oh, here we are. Note locked in art dealer's house. Uh, art dealer provided the key to his house. None of these, none of these hints help. Hungry? Well, don't eat river crust. It'll make you sick as a bucket. Good to know. Um, so where's the dude's house? What? Uh, what? Citizens of Dunwall, the Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate arrest. So that's the Golden Cat. That's the hotel? Yeah, so that's the hotel. So I've got a key to get into the hotel now. So I guess we'll take a look around here and see what we can find. For sale, you say? 
Alright. Hotel. Hi. <laughs> so, I forgot I wasn't crouching. That's why I made noise when I peered behind him. <laughs> so, where is the entrance to this place and how can I get in there? I mean, I know, I know, obviously, how to get into the Golden Cat. I'm just curious if I can figure out the other way in. Right, so I'll take out this guy properly this time. Sorry, I was actually distracted listening to the radio thing, talking about the guy that we branded as a heretic. So, is there no actual way into the captain's chair? Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly high over someone there, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. Oh. He now bears the heritage. Can't get in. Okay. Bye. Oh, hi. An actual swarm of rats. Got it. Guys, take them. Have fun. Okay. So this doesn't actually do me any freaking good. Because I can get into the cat through this door instead. And I don't believe there was anything in there either. So, that does not answer the question of how to avoid killing the guy. I mean, yeah, great, we did the side quest thing, but... It doesn't tell me how to avoid killing the guy. I'll take another peek. Walls in the front door. Actually, I'm curious. What's the side door? What's up the side area? Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I stole the dude. Oops. Um, is there a purpose to this place? Other than Ladybutt? Because apparently Ladybutt's all over the place. Hmm. I don't 
know what you're looking at. There's nothing good down there. Alright, I'll put her out just for a little while. Just because I don't want her accidentally causing trouble. There appeared to be anything useful up there. Just a different way up. It's fine. It's all fine. Alright, so I am incredibly confused as to how to get rid of that guy without killing him. Let's take care of the guards up here. I think I took care of most of them. Yeah, it's nice. Got that guy, and we got those guys. I think that's it. Yeah, that appears to be it up here. Anyone in the smoking room? Smokes? Great. Love it. Ah, that guy. Ooh, something weird's happening in the skyline. <coughs> so that's the guy that keeps lighting up. So I could potentially jump out there and get him. I do believe he's guard outside of Pendleton's room. Nice. Wrong button. say part way through here come on guy I need you to stop smoking and turn around anytime now Anytime now. There we go. Alright. Alright, so carrying him is pointless because I don't have anywhere to bring him yet. Pendleton's in here. So I do have somewhere to bring him if I wanted to. Uh, let's bring him to the smoking room. I'm in a brothel, and there has been stabbing, you just haven't been witness to it.
So let's see. Let's go check out Pendleton's room after I eat all of their food. Actually, let's check out these guys. Uh, I can't stab the actual brothel. This is where I go on slow nights. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like a city in a fairy tale. It all looks the same as it used to. It's like the plague never came. Like when the Empress was still alive. You could almost forget the last year ever happened. I've seen a lot I can't forget. Honey, for enough coin, I could make you forget your own name. Oh my. You guys gonna turn around or are you just gonna keep standing there, standing there? Gonna keep standing there? Okay. I'll leave you guys standing there then. Alright, let's peek at the gold room. Who do you want me to be tonight, Lord Pendleton? Anyone you want. The High Overseer, for all I care. I've never been this drunk. Some of my friends say I look like Lady Boyle. Waverly? That lucky trollop. If I'd found those crystal deposits on my estate, I'd be throwing parties too. I'd be buying the Lord Regent's favor too instead of begging for money from my cousins. I didn't mean to upset you, my lord. Wait. Wait. On second thought, maybe you should dress up like her. Yes, I think I should like to teach her a lesson. I would be glad to, my lord. Would you like me in white or black? Or red, perhaps? Let me think about this. Waverly did always like black. Oh, is that Lydia? That's not helpful information. I need to know that for later. Alright, so is this all that's going to happen? I'm going to peek inside and be a creepy voyeur? Huh. I actually don't know how to uh, take out either of them without killing them. Reload, but I need to figure out the how the hell to get them. Shut up. How the hell do I get them without killing them? How do that thing? Anyone have any thoughts or ideas? I can sneak around this way. Just simply choking him out, does it? <clears throat> what? What? No! Who are you? How? Why are you here? Hmm. 
Also, I did see when I killed him, I lost the ability to go try um, try to get the safe combination from the art dealer. So I'm gonna go try that, and that's in the silver room, which is downstairs, I do believe. Yeah, as far as I can tell, my only option is to kill them. Um, but that seems kind of odd. Because normally there's other, like, alternate routes. how to get to these guys, but I don't really have a way to stop that from happening either. Okay, no. Help me. Who is it? See? Non-lethal. Persuade the art dealer to reveal his safe combination. But how? Because I can't interact with him anymore. I don't get it. I'm half tempted to look it up, because I'm almost there, and I feel like I'm missing something important. You're the worst harpist ever. I was just straight dead. Hmm. I got nothing. All right, I am actually going to BRB for a moment anyway, because I got to refresh my drink and whatnot. So I will take that moment to look it up as well, because I want to get that done. So BRB.
Okay. I am back, and I have looked up information. Aw, oh, Tracy's gone bad. Night, Tracy. So, I've looked up information, and I have come across a problem. And that problem is... That's a really nice sword. I like it. Um, the problem is that I fucked up the whole thing. That's it. I fucked up the whole thing. To be able to do the non-lethal method of killing them, I would have had to have started with Slackjaw's side quest. But since I did that as an afterthought, and specifically after I tortured the art dealer, I can't continue that route. So, if anyone's paying attention out there, Demos, I'm looking at you, do I start that whole bit over and do it correctly, or do we give up on that? Meanwhile... Bye. Sorry. Sorry. What's out here? Nothing's out here. This appears to be a solid wall. Okay. So I think it may be in my best interest to start over. Don't necessarily want to, but it may be best. I think that may be best if we're going to keep on the no-killing train, because I can't do anything about that if I don't load uh, load this right now. So I think it got to do that. That's going to be right. Autosave, 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 quick save. No, so this is after the... The dealer, I believe. I think I have to go back one more save before that. This is the smoke room, and I'm pretty sure. Ow. My knees. Pretty sure if I go in the silver room. It's already been tortured. Yes, okay. I need to load back even earlier. This puts me at just inside before having dealt with Madam. That's gross, sir. I'm going to deal with these guys quick. We shall create our pile a little bit more loosely this time and see if it sticks. And we'll try to plow through as much of this as fast as we can. Info that that
Alright, so I need to go straight out and talk to what's his face. I'll take this guy into the, into the pile as well. Less shin breaking this time. And I remember that there's a dude out here. Off we go to what's his face place. Come on up. The more people die, the cheaper it gets. That's a delightful thing you say there, sir. It's fine. All right, we're not gonna waste time listening to any of these nonsense guys that talk. Him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey. much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. Slackjaw be waiting for you. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us get one part of liquor, three parts. Alright, Slackjaw, talk to me. Talk to me, guy. Talk to me. Hi. He is a villain if I judge your look. Way I... That Galvani is a leech. A doctor they call him now. Get into his office and you can find out what happened to my man who vanished. Yep. We're doing that. Steal. Got the uh, weepers on the loose outside. <coughs> Shit. Dude just fucked up that rat. That's the end of you. 
Oh, I'm out of there. Good. That's fine. You guys have fun with that. Done? Yeah, you done. Picked up anything good? <laughs> what a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. Come on. Can I not seriously go up that way? It's kind of weird. I thought I looted this place before. Apparently, I did not. Alright, good to know. I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone. Alright, I'm gonna be a little bit more <coughs> quick and less cautious about this one. Shouldn't be able to see me through there. Where's Mr. Man? Those things we did. Uh, if I recall, there wasn't anything useful downstairs, but there was some cash, so I might go get that anyway. I 
I don't remember anyone being downstairs, so I think we can bolt through this pretty quick. That's about it for down here. I don't remember there being anything overly useful in here. These two guys. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. <laughs> That's not an official report. One of them walks out eventually. <clears throat> like that guy, right there. that little side room for the moment. Finish looting the place, and then we'll be good to go. I don't know if it's important to actually look at all the books, but I am doing it anyway. Should be able to go back now. Uh, 
I don't remember if we ever got the safe combination to the place. But I don't remember seeing it anywhere. But I'm not all that concerned about that, so let's exit. Back to Slackjaw. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let me do a thing quick. I'm going to go with... Agility? So these two I don't ever want to do because this one is pushing back enemies and shattering doors and then killing enemies, which I don't want to do. And this one is just pretty much just straight up killing enemies. Um, bending time would be nice. Um, but that's really expensive, so that'll be later. Um, agility, though, would be nice um, on level 2 to overall increase movement speed. So I think I'll do that. Right now, it's just a better jump. Which is surprisingly good. Um, but I don't need to right, run by Alright, top me up, sir. Here to shop. Howdy, Liam Hill. Do whatever night. Bitch asking for more money. Oops, wrong button. Do, do, do. That'll do. Sounds like you've been playing too much uh, GTA. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just a... Heard to me. How come it's always me who pay for the whiskeys? Shush up your mouth. Okay, bye. Oi. Oi, dude, out of my way. Nope, strill no salsa. What's this? Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Slackjaw. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. You was right. There is someone once you dead. What's the take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang? And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first I did. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure and what's that? No time to I... No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. Yep. You think about that. No, I won't now think. maybe we can help each other out again. See, this I is part of this before. I the for you. Quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Yes. 
The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer name of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. Okay. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Well, Slackjaw should stop talking in Slackjaw's third person, because Slackjaw sounds like a slacking idiot. But, that's fine. Yeah, someone's still around. Me. Yeah. Definitely somebody about watching. Me. Yeah. Thought we covered that. Gotta keep my eyes open. Uh. All right. So now it's safe to go into the Golden Cat and do all the things that I had done previously. Just that one little missing step that messes up the whole damn thing. It was very upsetting, but whatever. Uh, so that's number nine. Uh, that's number seven. Okay. okay. So we're gonna get out. Wait, you're right. Someone's still around. Why is there a dead guy there? There shouldn't be a dead guy there. Because I didn't do that. Yeah, well. Okay, so now back to the cat. Mm. Yeah. Impossible! Impossible! Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply. So, back to Golden Cat. Wait, as in you actually did it? Like, did you actually do the deep fried turkey taco thing of ter terrifyingness? That little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. Somehow she found the VIP exit. Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away. Hello? Hi. Oh, no. Help me! Please. Nope. No, no, no. Quiet. Hey, Sled Booch. Welcome. Alright, so let's, um... Not go around murdering helpless girls. No, Demos. That's what I do when I screw up. I go on a killing spree and then reload. So we can get the best of both worlds. The non-killing and the killing.
Okay, so I probably should take care of that at some point. But I don't want to do that at the moment, so I'll try to remember that later. I need to go finish taking care of all the crap that I took care of before that I can't take care of now and again and whatever. Really obnoxious. Alright, I gotta take care of these guys first. Talk to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. Actually, I could probably get away with right here. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. Ooh. Huh? Nothing? Is that nothing? I need you to go look at that painting, please. Go go look at it. It's pretty. It's pretty. Okay, fine. Don't go look at it. Having a little snack while I'm carrying a dude. set her over here because that's also a safe space. Gonna take care of her quick. Okay, so uh, getting close to back where we were, I need to take care of, there's two guards that wander over here. That guy, that guy right there. As for where to put them, I guess here is fine. I'm kind of done doing the whole long pile carry situation because that's that's just really far to walk. Do the silver room. Uh, there's nothing in the ivory room currently. There's those dancing girls that don't really interfere with anyone. Uh, might as well go loot the ivory room quick. 
In fact, I don't think there's actually anything in here to loot. There's health and mana, whatever, but otherwise there's nothing actually in here. So let's do the art dealer quick. Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonnie? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, I'd say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Let's start with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. You're junk. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Nah, we're not done. Ah! We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! Nah. What the? Who is this? What do you want? <clears throat> the safe. Yes, of course. The combination is eight, seven, nine. Take Good. anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. <coughs> okay. Take this. Ask me anything. I screwed the Pendletons, yes. And, and I've been to the Brimsleys. They worship the Outsider. I've seen it. I did it too. Okay. That, that was just for fun. Um... Please. My heart won't take this. Ask me anything. <laughs> I screwed the Pendletons, yes, and, and I've been to the Brimsleys. They worship the Outsider. I've seen it. I did it too. Okay. So downstairs uh, in the steam room, there was nothing of value. Upstairs, there's a little bit of value. So let's go upstairs. So we also have the VIP exit. Yeah, so I gotta take care of this mess up here. I don't know. Some kind of mask, he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word. But he went through the place like the outsider himself. He didn't fight plague, man. He had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know what I think? He's one of Dowd's. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? You shake him like a little girl. Go jump off Caldwin's bridge. Guards! Hi, guys. Take him! <laughs> Firing! Ow. Stand clear. Okay, fine. Alright, so can't go upstairs while they're talking. Got away from the finish talking. Got it. I don't know. Some kind of mask, he said. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word. But he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight plague mad. He had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know what I think? 
He's one of Dowd's. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? You're shaking like a little girl. Go jump off Caldwin's bridge. Yup. Alright. So, I need... Let's see where they're at. That guy's going that way. safe to stay there. That guy over there needs to go down, but I don't have a good angle on him yet. Should be all the dudes up here. And then there's that guy. And since I took out the lady who was going up there to join him earlier, uh, I should be able to take him out no problem. Not that I needed to, but I wanted to. Okay, so, uh, I do believe the smoking room had some shinies to steal. And then there's, I think, a dude out here. Yeah, there's this dude. You can join this guy. how the smoking room is just smoking. Even though there's no one actually in there and no smoke being generated. I guess there's a single hookah going. I guess. I think that's it for all of the shiny things upstairs. I could go into Pendleton's and attempt to steal from him, but not worth it. I think he only's got a hundred gold on him or something like that. So not really worth it. Uh, then we've got smoking room, golden room, harp. So nothing else remarkable. And there was nothing remarkable downstairs to steal. So I don't even need to go down there. What do we have in here? Ah, this room. Okay. This room is a no thing. Alright, so now I can go upstairs and talk to Emily. Amelia, Emily, Emma, whatever her name is.
Okay. Just about back to where we were. And in a much better position now that I have the quest for the uh, getting rid of the Pendletons. So I'm going to save here, I think. Like a fresh real save. Optional, or the non-lethal is to return to Slackjaw, so I should be able to get Emily out of here now. Hi, Emily. Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? Corvo? Corvo, it's you! Adorable. You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? Yeah. They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and nope, the person dead. Nope, still like, got. Like mother. We're good. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Nope. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. Good girl, pet pet. come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. I might have to reload. Because I remember this, the VP or the VIP exit is uh, where those two girls were talking. You're fine. What the hell's down here? Okay. Anything else we're stealing? Uh, no. Uh, elixir, ladies, drink up. Etc. Okay, that's Craxton. The door is locked. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. Let's go. Let's get out of here. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. But it's, like, my job to worry about you? Ah, noises! <clears throat> hey, Gabriel Hose, thank you for that. Where am I? Oh, by her. Come on. Come to dinner now, that's right, my sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. Granny, you worry me, lady. I shall talk to Granny. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally. Or that young girl might fall in the river. Mm, that'd be bad. I remember you from last night as well. I am stabbing things tonight. Ooh. Um. How do I get rid of the weepers? And do the weepers count? He looks healthy. Hang on, I gotta look at the thing quick. Weepers count for detection, and they do raise the chaos level if killed. Okay, so gotta stealth them. Which is unfortunate, but understandable. That means I need to not deal with them. Have you seen it? Someone with a 
beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him. I'm doing my part, yes. Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? If you see him. Yep, that game was called Space Engineers. Alright, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go out the other way because it's actually safer than trying to deal with the Weepers. It is a shortcut out, but, you know. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Demos. Be nice. Ah! Really? I didn't quick save it all. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and do this. We'll skip it again. This game is dishonored. It's kind of steampunk esque with magic and other weird things. The door is locked. A I, I know this you go river, shoot. So you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. <clears throat> it's very unfortunate that killing the weepers counts against the no kill thing. Because it's been made abundantly clear that the Weepers are no longer salvageable. That the Weepers are um, infected beyond beyond recognition. Um, I'm going to actually go this way quick and finish looting uh, Granny's place. I don't know what killing seven is. Probably should know what that is, but I don't. Um, this game is pure Come stealth. It's kind of like Thief. Come to dinner now. That's right. Oh, sweet little birds. Come to Granny. Granny won't hurt. Okay. Have you seen it? Anything else with the beautiful dark eyes. I just want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? Right, you I'm gonna attempt it? to go out this way, but the weepers they're impossible. <laughs> See? They're impossible. I don't think there's an easy way out of here anyway if I were to go this way. So, I'm just gonna reload. I've got the stuff that I wanted to loot in Granny's place. I will go back and go through the cat. It's not I'm ideal, with my collar, Mama. The dance is starting but it's soon. doable. Is my hair smooth enough? Yeah, Gabriel, that's not that's not helpful. Killer Seven being that game from a long time ago. There are a lot of that games from a long time ago. Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to check and see if there's anything in here that's worth salvaging. Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now, and she carries the only key. Ah, there is Why stuff Why is she here, here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendleton? No idea. They keep her hidden away. God damn it. What okay. did you say? I would love to get that feather thing from them. But I'm not sure I can do it in their current state. Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. Somehow she found the VIP okay. exit. 
Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now and she carries the only Alright, I think I've gotten everything of use out of that place, so I will go. Man, I haven't had jello in a long time. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears that. Looking for something special? Surprise Jello. Okay, so Emily's out, and all I gotta do is return to Slackjaw and give him the wait. Wait. I can go loot the place, can I? Where's his where's his place? Where's the art dealer's place? know where the art dealer's place is. I want to go loot the hell out of it. Is it here? Aha! It is here. Oh. I need... Hurt myself. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non compliance is a punishable offense. See something? All right, I need to reload because I've messed up all of that right now. But I know where the art dealer's place is now, so I'm gonna go that way. Uh, actually, I can go around the back way. Let's do that. Do your thing. I'm gonna go into the art dealer's house. And I'm gonna steal all the shit before I give um what's his face the information. Poor bastard. Stuff can't be worth nothing. Can they? Not a chance. I think I remember having seen this painting at my grandmother's place. She wasn't no duchess. Yeah, probably can't even sell it for junk. Not worth the time taking it off the walls. I might go upstairs, see if the mother two found something worth the trouble. Place as any for a pile. Alright, 
We are raiding the art dealer's place. Why do people care about this stuff? Hmm. Why do you? Blood from the eyes. Okay. So we got one up. I think that's all that's in here. What have you done, done to me? me? My, My father, father had golden hair. My, My mother hair like, like ash. Okay. So she is not saying anything new about the art dealer's place, just the main town. Okay. All right, so up is for the thing, and down is probably for more loot. So let's go up first, so I don't forget the thing. Come on, Stu. One more try. They wouldn't have such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, it won't budge. Not even a bit. And I think I bruised out my shoulder. <laughs> Stop your crying and give another shove. Just imagine what could be behind it. That'll get you through the pain. If you're so sure, then you shove it. You shove it. Wonder what it's worth. Mm, delightful fellows. Good, good. So there's things inside of there. I have the key, or I have the code, so I will steal it as soon as I finish everything else. Mr. Bunting, I know you've been waiting for the Golden Cat to reopen. You've probably been suffering, you poor dear. So let me offer you a warm welcome to our lavish reopening tomorrow. I assure you that everything has been cleaned up, top to bottom, after that touch of plague. We're ready to take care of you. Everyone here loves you, and half the girls consider you a friend. Madam Prudence. Oh, Madam Prudence, you are a horrible liar. Excerpt from a book on sailing traditions and scrimshaw. Bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice uh, from long back, passed from father to son, old man salt to greenhorn, still getting the sea legs beneath them. In the old times, men cut into the tusk of ice seals into the, and into the uh, arm-long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tivia. Once the, uh, once the whale trade began, practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor or defense against pregnancy. Dun, dun, dun. We actually already read that one, but that was a while ago, so I'm okay. Um, oh, that whole painting is mine now. That was worth 300. Good, good. Probably should check the other paintings, see if there's any others I can steal. There's nothing else in here, though. Alright, let's open up the thingy. But, but... Ah, okay, there. Um, notes.
I don't remember the combination, even though I got it in uh, verbal givings. I should know this. Uh, eight, seven, nine, I think was the combination I got. There we go. Good, good. I got some urn. I don't need those things. There's a shiny up there, though. And I got the invitation, which will help later. Alright, I think that's it. Let me crack the weapon. Get that. Because it's shiny and worth things. Alright, so now we can go downstairs. See if there's anything worth taking down there. I've already looted this place. I'll check that painting, see if it's worth stealing. It is worth stealing. Good, good. There's more down. Okay. Fine wine. Right, so let's take a look in here. Um. even anything in here. It doesn't appear to be. Oh. Sweet. I guess we're going this way. Okay. Hi. Alright, so I do believe we're good. to return and tell him that he can have the safe key now that I've cleared it out. Hi. You can have the combination. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. 
If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own sticking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dedication indeed. <laughs> right then. Right then. Definitely somebody about. Watch it. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take a quick peek down here. Keep my eyes open. You guys good with your uh, collection of stuff? Got anything to smoke or eat? Blow you get where you're going, little man. Okay. Looks like I can't get in there and steal the stuff. At least not without pissing off the Slackjaw. The Slackjaw gang or whatever they're called. Keep an eye out. We got company. Okay. Let's go back to wherever. Did I loot this place? Is there anything to loot in here? Food, there's a tripwire I don't need, there's that. Ah, well, nothing much, but I got some shiny things. Entering hostile zone, you say. Alright, so I need to go back to the boat, uh, and then that will be the end of this mission. Which, unfortunately, took about an extra uh, hour and a half or so, because of my fuck-up. But that's fine. Attention Dunwall citizens. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a Pretty sure I cleared this place out. Yeah, I think we're good. Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah, yeah, whatever. Should be fine. Hello, everyone. I met your friend Samuel. He's going to show me how to steer this boat. Samuel and I were worried about you, Corvo. Ready when you are. This place is rotten. Samuel says the Hound Pits is nicer. An old lady helped me find my way to the boat. She seemed a little strange, though. Yeah, she was very strange. All right. Um. I guess... Are you both ready to go? Off we go. Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Yes, let's do the thing. But... Fuck. Dead or unconscious bodies found one. But I didn't kill anyone, so who was dead and who was found? Oh, I know which one. Okay. Um, so in the in the Slackjaw area, um, there was that one dead guy. And that he was killed by the weepers that got let out. And those other guys were walking around, pacing back and forth, being all suspicious, thinking someone was out there killing people. So that's what got found. I don't have any control over that. So hopefully that doesn't count against me for anything. So I help Slackjaw find Crowley, I put the Pendletons to work in their own mine, and I robbed the art dealer's safe. 
Didn't kill anyone. Ghost never detected. So that's actually better than I would normally do, because usually I at least get a little detected. Um, I did miss a bone charm. I don't remember seeing or hearing one. But that's fine. I'm okay with this result. This is a better result than usual. Jesus. Only 20, 2,500 coins out of 4,000? There's a lot of shit I missed. Damn. There's a lot of hidden things in here that I didn't know. All right. Emily is now safe in the protective care of the Loyalists. With her well-being temporarily, temporarily assured, it's time to remove the Lord Regent's remaining allies. So we're going to return back. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I did the do. I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Nothing. Oh, I, uh... Grown up business girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. <laughs> oh. Uh. I'm going to not talk about that anymore. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. Have fun. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Hmm. That's ominous. Hi. I'll get this old boat ready. Scrape off a few barnacles. You do that. They'll want you inside. No need to keep this old sailor company. But... What Pendleton's been through tonight. <coughs> no telling how that tears a man up. The Admiral will want a word with you, I expect. Break it to Pendleton gently, will you? The poor man's had a shock. Okay. So pretty. So pretty. All right, so my current goal is to find Pendleton. Can go around talking to everyone else if I want to, but don't know if I need to. Hi. Ask me for any gear you need. I would like any gear I need, please. Um, oh, he actually sells these for... 30% of the actual price the other dude sells them for. I probably shouldn't have kept buying them over there, but that's okay. That's fine. Alright. Um, combat sleep dart, not needed. Pistol upgrade, not needed. Spring razor radius, not needed. Sword crossing, not needed. Not needed, not needed. Not needed, not needed. Not needed! Oh, this one I can do. Um, sure. I would love the bolt capacity. Except for it doesn't actually apply to the sleep dart bolt things. So, not gonna bother. Alright, Pendleton is... over there? Alright. I guess we'll go over there. Oh, hey, shiny things. Hi. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. Why? I must fetch the mourning garments. His lordship has never looked well in black. If oh, I guess Wallace is part of the Pendleton place. family? I have always hoped to see the Pendleton name redeemed. For the first time in years, it seems possible. I didn't know he was Pendleton. Alright. I hope his lordship is taking this well. 
Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. I don't mind at all, Lydia. I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. You startled me. You moved so silently, you could have been a dancer. Lydia has a strange voice. A night at the Golden Cat, Corvo. I wonder if it's your first time. She has implied a lot of things just now. Attention. Your first responsibility is to the city's health. A spouse, parent, or child showing plague symptoms must be reported. No exceptions. All right. Let's go to Pendleton. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. That was a little awkward transition there. Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. Head lackey, I you suppose say. this means I'll have to have children. Or else recognize one of my bastards. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now. I suppose I'll have to have children, or recognize one of my bastards. Wow. Just, just wow. I, I say wow to you, sir. Um, yeah, I guess I don't need to save. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emma. You make this old military man proud. <coughs> That's it, then. That's it, then. Let's finish talking to people, though. Sokolov's unpredictable. And as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, he's an odd bird, to be sure. You showed skill in dealing with the Pendletons. I'm impressed. When a fight starts in a brothel, well, I've seen it go poorly. You know Sokolov, don't you? They say genius and madness are so finely balanced in his personality that no one can tell the difference. <laughs> Your companions just losing their heads, literally? Wow. Your work at the Golden Cat was something for the poets, Corvo. Both targets eliminated and Emily delivered to us without so much as a bump or a bruise. The city is better off without the men you took care of, those loudish twins. And now, Lord Pendleton can slow the Lord Regent down in Parliament. Gum up the works. Bit by bit, we're winning. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. Bit by bit, we're winning. Oh. He's just gonna keep Let's saying that over and over again, isn't he? Long enough for us to make things right again. Yeah. See, they stop letting me talk to them when they're done talking. It's just that he had a repeat dialogue for some reason. All right. Um, Pendleton, I've talked to. Wallace, I've talked to. Lydia, I've talked to. 
Um, I've talked to him, but he doesn't have useful dialogue. Uh, I need to talk to what's her face, the cute girl. Uh, where's what's her face? Probably upstairs. Hi, what's her face? Hello, Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? I feel like a ghost. I've been practicing my curtsy, but it's not going well. Shame. I don't mind helping Wallace. He gives me the dirty work, but that's what I do. I'm accepting of that. Someone has to do it, right? Poor girl. She seems overworked. Pretty sure I've talked to most everyone. I just need to go and find um, the girl, Emily, Amelia, Amelie, whatever. I don't think she's here. I think she's... Yeah, this is mine. Corvo, thank you for getting me a live weeper. This is going to be invaluable for my old friend at the Academy of Natural Philosophy, as a living plague specimens are quite difficult to procure. Rest assured, my colleague will handle the situation as humanely as possible. I don't recall doing that, but sure, you're welcome. Uh, hers is across here, I think. No? Attention! Your first responsibility is to the city's health. A spouse, parent, or child showing plague symptoms She's must over be there, reported. I think. No exceptions. Yeah, Wrong button. Yeah, she's over here. This is a really awkward, not very princess-like area. Oh, hi. I don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere, and thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. All right then. This is pretty. This is pretty. Okay, I shall talk to you first. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. I knew this was why they brought me here, but I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. Alright. The few feast. Uh Trials of Aptitude, Esoteric Practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and any other signs uh, ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes um, some hours before dawn and must begin the march to oppose the city... Um, 
begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to White Cliff. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. That's, yeah. Hi, girl. I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. Good. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. You mean that tower? That tower that's bathed in sunlight right now? Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? He was a dick. So I get to stay in the smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. Sure. I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Sure. You missed everything, Sparkle. Everything. But yes, hello. Okay. Um, so Samuel will take me to the new place. There's a whole lot of down going on here. Uh, I did not have to restart to remember what I was doing. However, I did have to restart to stop myself from fucking up. <laughs> I got, oh, probably about three quarters of the way through the mission tonight and realized that I bombed it early on and had to restart that mission. I didn't have to restart the whole thing, luckily, but I did have to restart the whole mission uh, and do it correctly this time. But that's fine. I, I knew what I was doing, so I was able to do it pretty quick after that. Um, however, I'm done with that mission now. And I am ready for the next mission. And it's about time for me to call it quits for the night. So, yeah, you are literally just in time to say hi. So that will be it for tonight. Um, tomorrow, no stream because I will be at Turkey Day. And uh, Friday, we'll figure something out. Um, I, God, no. Okay, so shopping on Friday. Black Friday is the devil. I worked Black Friday opening one time at Walmart. And, you know, Walmart being one of the devils of Black Friday. And it was... It was a fucking nightmare. So no, I, I refuse to go out on Black Friday anymore. Ooh, birthday dinner. That's right, birthday coming up soon here. So have fun with that. Um, we'll, we'll figure... Actually, maybe that means that Blade and I can continue Starbound. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see if Blade's even around. I don't know. Unknown! So I will say hi to Third Kitty for you. Malibu is as Malibu is as she, as she always is. Demos, thanks for sticking around. Enjoy your game. Sparkle, thanks for at least stopping by for a little bit there. Anyone else who may still be out there, thank y'all for coming. Thanks for any subs and follows I'm going to miss. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.